outside people. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Keep you happy! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, me too. Because the main reason I decided to be a stand-up comic is so I can get laid. Um, it's not really working out so far. I've not done many things. But if any of you want to buy me a drink, I'm a very cheap date and I do put out on the first night. So if any of you feel like you're being followed home tonight, you are listening. Um, I've been single for a while now. Um, I do find it hard to hold relationships down. Do you know, I'm so hyperactive, I think I've got ADHD, but it's alright because I'm great in bed. I've had a very tricky little hate relationship with my ex-boyfriend. I loved him. He hated me. <laughs> but to be honest with you guys, I'm not over him. No. His parting words still haunt me. Fuck off and I'll get a restraining order. <laughs> Please. It'll take more than a piece of paper to keep me away. But you know, my mum always tells me to stay positive. Because I can still follow him on Twitter. <laughs> I've got skills. And lots of time. But you know, I love my mum. She's great. She gives her loads of really good advice. I have to say that Mother's Day is a really special occasion in our house. I mean, once she's made the breakfast, done the lunch, done the laundry, done the shopping, made the tea, done the washing up, the rest of the day it has. But you know how it goes. Um, my mum worries about me a lot. Um, she says that I make bad choices, like when I moved to London. Now, I moved to London about seven years ago, and I did find it quite hard to adjust. But you know, I'm adopted in a white family, and growing up, there weren't many black kids in my village, but I think it's affected me. Because, you know, I must be the only black woman in London who can't kiss her teeth. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I have tried. I just end up looking like a bloody contortionist. I mean, sometimes I wonder if I'm actually black at all. Like, the black thing about me is my hair, and that's a I was going for a certain look, Avatar. But you know, I remember the first time I ever got a week here, yeah, my hairdresser did it so tight, I went home black Chinese. I couldn't sleep for a week. But you know, the best thing about living in London is that if I get lost or pissed, I can always find my way home by chicken shops. It's amazing. I've actually just had a chicken shop sat with put my car. It's the best thing I ever did. You know, apart from online dating. Um, has anyone here tried it? Yeah. yeah. Fucking shit, isn't it? Um, I've come across a few crazy profiles. Um, the first profile said, I'm looking for a woman between 18 to 35. Well, fuck me, he's picky. That's smooth. But you know, there's another guy, another profile that says, I want a wife so I can care for she and make she so happy in my life. <laughs> Just that's my wife, okay? So, not only is this guy a big nutter, but he's also a bigamist. Happy days. But you know, I've just written my own online profile. Um, I am quite proud of this. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Black, beautiful, sexy babe, modest too. Have OCD and major control issues. Fear of being alone. Clingy, paranoid, expensive taste. No replies. It's unbelievable. But you know, I'll tell you what I really hate, yeah? Dating adverts. I mean, they make it seem so easy, don't they? Like you're gonna meet someone, fall in love straight away. Oh, it's really nice. We've got loads in common. I can't wait to see him again. This is bullshit, people. Because I went on a date last week for a dating site, and it was nothing like that. I've actually written it on last date for you. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. yeah? Okay, here we go. I arrived at the restaurant early in my best dress. My date was over an hour late. And when he did stagger in, I think he was coked up. He didn't offer me any. Rude. He kept getting my name wrong because he said that I looked like his ex. He used to stalk him. She sounds committed. He thought it'd be romantic to choose my food, so he ordered me a steak. I'm a vegetarian. During the meal, he kept pinching my bum and flirting with the waitress. To be fair, she was hot, I'd bang her. After the meal, he said that he'd forgotten his wallet. Oh, convenient. And on the way home, he threw up all over me. So thank you, Match.com, because that is three hours of my life that I will never get back, and I'm still single. And P.S. is a twat. Now that is a real date. Yeah? Yes. 